and we are in the kitchen with Chef Tony Duman from Outer Banks Brewing Station. And what are we making today? Does it fall in line with fall flavors and it everything that's going on in the OBX? It does. It does. Um, today we're going to do a uh, uh, sorry, fennel uh, crusted red drum, which is going huge on the uh, beach right now, like Chris had said. Um, and then we're going to follow that up with a fall couscous has onion, butternut squash, apple, cranberry. Um, you can do rice if you like. If you don't want couscous, you can do wild rice or mm -hmm. whatever you kind of. All right, feel. so we'll get to cook in in just a little bit, and we'll also be talking some beer. So you want to stick around? We're back in the kitchen with Chef Tony Duman, and and we'll later on we'll have owner Eric Reese talking about some of the brews over there at the Outer Banks Brewing Station. And we're just getting started this morning, and you're mm -hmm. just starting to chop things up because. Yep. We are making fennel crusted red drum with fall couscous salad. Wow! So what right. are we starting with? Um, well, first you want to get the uh, make sure the water for the couscous is boiling. Mm-hmm. Is couscous then, hard to make? It's not. It's just like any other pasta. Couscous is a pasta. Mm -hmm. um, it's they're just small balls, and so it takes you know no time at all to cook. Once the water is boiling, throw it in there, let it sit for about you know six to eight minutes mm -hmm. um but while we got the water going i'm gonna go ahead i cut up some onion already okay uh we'll cut up some butternut squash and then we're gonna add in a uh, gala apple it's one of my favorite apples mm -hmm. um cranberries like some nice fall flavors exactly in this dish. yep some cranberry some uh sage a little parsley it's good. And tell me about the red drum because you were educating me about this fish and its abundance, right, especially right now out mm -hmm. in the Outer Banks. So tell me about red drum. Um, right now, like you said, uh, the red drum's you know going off, as they say, on the Outer Banks. All the fishermen are catching it. Um, it's a really good fish. It's firm, um, mild flavored. Uh, it's, it's a good, firm, flaky white fish. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. And. Um, it's also a restaurant week out there in the yes. Outer Banks. So it's one of your special offerings for your restaurant week dinner menu. Um, it so, is. What, how are you serving it? Is it how we're cooking it today? Um, it's not how we're cooking it today. I wanted to do something a little simpler. Okay. Um, so, it's a little more complicated if yeah. you go in there it's, for it's, the dinner it's not menu. It's overly complicated. <laughs> for, the, for the dinner menu, it's, uh, it comes with a risotto. Okay. And the risotto, I love risotto. It, it's, it's good. Um, but it you know, can be a pain to mess with at home. So, I just want to do something that was a little easier to do okay. at home. Um, you could do the same dish, substituting risotto for uh, the couscous at your house, or okay. you know, like I was saying before, you could do, use wild rice or you know any any other kind of starch, really. Mm -hmm. um, but at, at, we also have you can have a choice of the red drum or a sliced New York strip. Mm -hmm. And it's these for, are four it's course. It's a four course. That would be the entree course, correct? Nice. Um, for the appetizer course, we had starts off with a soup or salad. And then you can have uh, a house cured pork belly, mm -hmm. or you can have a um, oyster, like local oysters on the half shell. Okay, and oysters always popular choice as well. Doing a mignonette with that, it's kind of like a uh, a relish, uh, but hmm. you use uh, sherry vinegar, cracked red pepper, or cracked black pepper, and we're also turning that kind of fall. Added some cranberries and apples to that also. Oh, that all sounds very delicious. Now, um, are you a fan personally of red drum? I do like it. Um, I, it's one, like I said, it's one of those just firm, white, mild fish that it's not too overpowering. It goes with a lot of dishes. Mm -hmm. um, it's you know, it's good fish to use. Okay, all right. So let's mm -hmm. see. We're, our water's boiling. We're gonna dump in the couscous. Okay. Yeah, I mean, I think and couscous just it sounds fancy. So if you if you haven't made it before at home, people probably think, oh, it might be difficult. Oh no, and it's it, like it's super easy. Like I said, it's just you like just any treat other, it like any pasta, yeah, like any your spaghetti pasta. noodles. Exactly. <laughs> and then while that's going, we'll uh, add about a tablespoon of olive oil to mm -hmm. the pan, get that nice and warm. All right. Chop and up our apple. We'll chop up the apple. As um, first, we'll throw in the butternut squash into the pan because that takes the longest to cook out of. Out of the three ingredients, it's just you know a little more dense. Mm -hmm. So, what kind of uh, flavors? When this is all said and done, how how is it tasting? Um, a little sweet, a little savory. Um, get some spice definitely from the fennel that's going to be on the fish. Mm -hmm. And it's just you know when you when you think of fall, you just think of like the warm, you know, warm flavors of you know like butternut squash and pumpkin and you know. Oh yeah, like definitely. That. And uh, how are things right now in the OBX? It slowed down a little bit, but uh, Restaurant Week has definitely helped out with that. Okay. Um, 
it's a nice break from the summer chaos. Uh -huh. So a little bit, goes a little on. bit slower. Yes. But still got the great food out there, the red drum, obviously in season. It's I'll let you uh, get to your cooking, finish cooking. We'll check back in with you and we'll actually bring the fish next time. And don't forget, we're going to be talking about the beer as well. So uh, stick around for that. We're back now in the kitchen with Chef Tony and uh, owner Eric Reese will be joining us in just a moment. But they're from the Outer Banks Brewing Station. You've been working on this fennel crusted red drum with fall couscous salad. So it uh, looks like we're in the final stages. You're starting to plate it up. Look at, look at how are. nicely the squash that, and the cranberries mixed in with your couscous. It's, it's all bright colors. Um, I also decided to add a little uh, broccolini to the dish mm -hmm. um, just for a little extra veg, a little extra color. Yeah, it makes um, it look a little extra healthy. Exactly. And <laughs> if, if you're doing it at home, you can use spinach or Brussels sprouts. It's a good fall vegetable. Okay. Um, anything of that nature. And your red, our red drum, you said you um, you seared it in the pan. I, I seared and then you it in the finished it off in the oven. Exactly. Seared in the pan for about two minutes on each side and then uh, finish in the oven for eight to nine minutes. Okay, it looks like you got some healthy seasonings on there. What did you what did you season it with? It seasoned just um just the uh, ground fennel seed. Mm -hmm. Um it's obviously you get more flavor if you fresh ground the uh, fennel. Nice. Which uh, I I did at did at the restaurant. I didn't want to have the uh, the blender battle like last time. Okay, <laughs> so um, kind of beat me you know up, if you're so gonna come into uh, the Outer Banks Brewing Station, you've got to have some brews. We're gonna bring in Eric Reese right now. And Eric, um, what did you bring along with you? You have the uh, lemongrass weedo. What you guys brought in the last time? We brought time last time. It was a big hit. And what we like to do in the brewery is we're kind of a we feel like we're an extension of the mm -hmm. kitchen. So what we have here is we have a uh, uh, our can condition lemongrass wheat pairs up with a lot of uh, great spicy food. Then we've done a, a couple really interesting beers right here, part of our barrel series, um, which uh, GQ magazine just uh, named GQ, our huh? yeah our beer our uh, one of our barrel uh, aged beers. Um, one of the 50 beers that every man must try before he dies. Wow, that's a pretty so, good distinction. Yeah, here's uh, here's a couple neat ones. This is Vitus Reductus Maximus. Uh, which we used Curry Tuck County grapes mm. uh, to uh, boil down, and that's part of an of a ongoing project, which we keep adding into a, a wine barrel. And then uh, uh, we fermented in the, uh, re fermented in the bottle, and this thing's been here, uh, been aging for two years. Wow. Okay. Uh, then we have uh, Odd Bruin, which is a play off the Flemish words, Odd. Odd Brew, let me get that, there we go. Odd uh, Brew. And that's a Flanders style brown, that's a sour ale. Again, mm. uh, uh, aged for over a year. Uh, really interesting beers, and it's all kind of a, a sidelight to our next beer coming up, which is our, our uh, Santa's Little Sledgehammer. Just in time for the holidays. Just in time isn't for the it? holidays. Santa's Little Sledgehammer. Hmm. Get you in the mood right quick. <laughs> really, <And that'll>, really. <laughs> that's coming out in Thanksgiving. Well, and, and uh, Thanksgiving, that comes out, and you'll have it through mm -hmm. the holiday season. Oh, yes. We're in limited right. run until you run out. Exactly. <laughs> like everything we do, it all runs out quickly. Right, right. So when we're talking about um, Tony's wonderful red drum over here, what, which mm. beer would you pair with it? Uh, I would. Me, I kind of like to go uh, uh, wild. If I, if we have any of the Maximus left, I go with the Maximus just to bring out a lot of those uh, flavors. Uh, the Odd Bruin would work also because it's a, uh, uh, it's got a lot. Of, it's got the sour notes, but it's also uh, a brown ale, so it's got a little of the sugars going on. Or I might just me a little bit crazy, and it's Mustache November, so. Uh -huh. Uh, I might just go uh, uh, with a with, with our pale ale. Okay, okay. And so the Maximus, this is the one that got named in GQ. Uh, Compass Rose did. Oh, Compass Rose did. Which oh, unfortunately, okay. uh, uh, most out. guys are going to die. Right. Because <laughs> because <laughs> you didn't, they're, they're dead, so. But one of our other beer, uh, barrel age series will uh, will be out, and uh, okay. and people can satisfy those. Those, those cravings urges. and those urges. All right. Well, thank you guys so much for coming in. Thank Everything you. looks fabulous. If you want to thank pay you. a visit to the Outer Banks Brewing Station there, 600 South Croatan. Did I say that right? Croatan, yeah. Croatan Highway, mile post 8.5 in Kill Devil Hills, North Carolina. Give them a call at 252-449-2739. They're online at obbrewing.com on Facebook at the Outer Banks Brewing Station and Twitter at OBX Brew. Thanks for coming in, guys. No Thank problem. Thank you.